Open your ears and prepare to feel with all your heart, for today I speak to you with urgency, an urgency you cannot ignore. The Archangel Michael, brave celestial warrior of my divine army, stands by your side, trying to warn you about something that demands your immediate attention. Pay heed to these words, for they carry the essence of your destiny. Do not underestimate their significance. Each syllable is a whisper of my divine voice resonating within you. Archangel Michael's presence is not arbitrary. He acts upon my decree, summoned to awaken you, to draw your attention to the signs and synchronicities surrounding you. This is no happenstance, my child. It is my direct intervention in your life. Archangel Michael is here to unveil a truth that has the potential to alter the trajectory of your existence. Do not wander astray. Do not overlook this divine summons. Embrace this opportunity bestowed upon you, for it is for your spiritual growth and ultimate well-being. Listen to the profound melody of my love echoing through the depths of your soul, like a symphony orchestrating the narrative of your life. Picture each musical note as a catalyst for transformation, rewriting the narrative of your existence with melodies infused with hope and renewal. Visualize the gentle yet potent waves of grace cascading over you, sweeping away doubts and fears, dismantling the barriers that once hindered your progress. Surrender to this divine symphony, allowing it to envelop you entirely, saturating your being with warmth, resilience, and limitless potential. Let its harmonious cadence serve as your compass, guiding you on a voyage of self-discovery and evolution, propelling you toward a future brimming with joy, abundance, and fulfillment. There's a sense of urgency regarding potential threats looming on the horizon. If you desire liberation from these impending dangers before they escalate, express your consent. As per the angel's guidance, it's advisable to seek forgiveness for any transgressions before someone departs from your life permanently. Failing to do so might lead to lingering guilt over this loss, particularly during critical junctures. Evading the clutches of malevolence will help avert chaos in your life. The angels have revealed that envy has been lurking nearby, urging you to seek the whole truth. It's time to relinquish any vanity or selfishness that has led you astray and embrace the light. God reassures you that help is on the way. You're not merely a passive entity awaiting molding. You're a magnificent creation waiting to be unveiled. Break free from the barriers and limitations you've imposed upon yourself. Today, unleash your inner brilliance like a powerful geyser, overflowing with happiness and boundless possibilities. Let your light shine brightly for all to behold. Beloved child, with absolute certainty, I inform you that within the next 24 hours, you will witness a profound financial miracle. Release any guilt about those who drift away from you. It's a manifestation of your prayers to rid yourself of negative influences in your relationships. As a faithful child of mine, understand that showing compassion towards others will bring greater harmony into your life. Embrace forgiveness, even towards those who have caused you pain, to experience deep joy and excitement within your heart. Share this message and express your gratitude if it has touched you. God is infusing new feelings of hope into your heart, reminding you that despite challenges, you are not lost. Emotional struggles will soon dissipate, making room for abundant blessings in your life. Don't let this opportunity for success slip through your fingers. If you hesitate, you might miss out on the blessings God has in store for you. Even when life gets tough, Muster your inner strength and confront challenges head-on. The angels have an important revelation about a woman you deeply care about who is dedicated to her studies. Be vigilant not to complicate matters with misunderstandings. Share this message with those navigating through challenging circumstances. This powerful message invokes hope, particularly for those aspiring to abundance and fulfillment. Let this month bear witness to the generosity awaiting you. God wants to forewarn you about a potential betrayal looming on the horizon. 
Confront this challenge directly to ensure it doesn't hinder your progress. When you wake up feeling troubled, turn to prayer. God listens and provides solace. He holds the answers you seek. Today, God will help you release any burdens of guilt you carry. He'll demonstrate your resilience in overcoming past challenges. But first, acknowledge and address any mistakes. By the end of this journey, may you be prepared to confront that challenge. The angels caution that death may attempt to infiltrate your life, claiming someone dear to you. If you wish to avert this fate and alter your course away from this unexpected crossroad, share this message. It's wise to make the right decisions before situations escalate. Beware of the adversary who preys on the vulnerable, using illusions to deceive. Seek refuge in Peter's offer and leave behind the burdens of your past. God has magnificent plans for your journey, promising communion, prosperity, and inner peace. Trust that he will never forsake you in times of need. With every stride you take, feel my guiding presence propelling you towards remarkable accomplishments. Within you lies an unwavering strength, a comforting source even in the darkest hours. Embrace it, knowing you're never alone. While the path ahead may seem uncertain, filled with lingering questions, the time for action is now. Those subtle urges within are not mere thoughts but clear directives, leading you towards triumph. Do not hesitate. This journey demands bold action, driven by the fierce determination within you, fueled by my boundless love. The whispers of the breeze and the warmth of the sunlight are not mere happenstance, but divine signals urging you forward. Seize this moment to rise, claim the victory awaiting you, and stride boldly into your destiny. Hear me now, dear one. It's time to break the silence, to unleash your voice and let your potential shine. Witness as my promises manifest, bringing tangible miracles and blessings. Embrace the transformation unfolding within you, akin to a caterpillar's metamorphosis into a butterfly. As you embark on this new chapter, confront your fears head-on, knowing I am beside you, cheering you on. You are not just accepted. You are chosen, and with my strength, you are unstoppable. Approach your journey with confidence and anticipation, ready to seize the abundant opportunities awaiting you. Reflect on the story of Jacob and his encounter with Esau. That pivotal moment transformed him from a cunning individual to one esteemed and admired. Let not life's challenges deter you. Press onward with unwavering resolve. Listen closely. Imagine yourself on a journey with me right by your side. As you progress, you'll undergo remarkable transformations. I'll empower you in such a profound manner that even those who once challenged you will seek reconciliation. Your presence exudes warmth, generosity, and harmony, drawing others towards you. You embody creativity, wisdom, and comfort, like a nurturing mother guiding us with life-giving support. Your circumstances reflect vitality and innate joy, embracing health, the healing arts, music, and all things beautiful and true. We derive inspiration from your highest ideals. You symbolize generosity, warmth, and nurturing qualities, fostering unity within your immediate circle. Recent victories have been achieved by your group, whether it's a family or a domestic partnership, as you've worked together harmoniously towards shared goals. The joy felt within this circle stems from the fulfillment of collective dreams, evoking positive, abundant, and optimistic emotions among all members. Rejoice in the fact that each of you contributes to this winning team, embodying the collective spirit and achieving shared success. Your angels encourage celebration, applause, and recognition for everyone involved. Self-reflection presents an opportunity to reassess and realign your standards. Embrace this chance to learn and grow turning potential embarrassments into valuable lessons. Allow correction to guide you back to the center channel, where you can flow naturally with the current of life. Only those who display either greed or self-neglect will face chastisement from the angels. 
It's crucial for all involved to make appropriate investments in this opportunity. Use this moment to elevate both your standards and your self-worth. My dear child, I want you to realize that the miracle you seek is not a distant fantasy but a tangible reality, closer to you than the very air you breathe. My words aren't empty promises. They serve as a steadfast anchor for your wavering faith and a beacon of unwavering hope amidst life's storms. Therefore, in this sacred moment, I encourage you to pour out your heart completely, share your deepest desires, heaviest burdens, and profound pains with unwavering faith and hope. As you heed my guidance, you'll not only find answers but also a pathway to inner peace amidst the turmoil within your soul. Embrace my words without hesitation. Let them envelop your spirit like a warm embrace, soothing every ache and fear. Always keep in mind that I am by your side, ready to offer my support and guidance through every challenge you face. You are not alone in your struggles. I have given you the strength to endure, overcome, and thrive. Although doubt may sometimes cloud your mind, leading you to question the promises I've made, Know that the fears sown by your adversaries are merely falsehoods meant to deceive and discourage you. Others may attempt to control your destiny, but their words hold no sway over the divine plan I have laid out for you. Place your trust in me, for within my presence and guidance lies the path to your true purpose and fulfillment. Cling firmly to the truth that my love for you knows no bounds. My Holy Spirit dwells within you, empowering you to achieve greatness beyond your imagination. Your past mistakes and failures do not define you. They serve as stepping stones on your journey toward your divine destiny. Today, make the choice to seek me wholeheartedly, to immerse yourself in my teachings, and to draw strength from my unwavering love. Allow me to breathe new life into your dreams, reignite your aspirations, and shower you with my divine power. Remember the sacrifice I made for you, enduring unimaginable suffering so that you could experience freedom and joy. Trust in me, for no force in the universe can thwart my plans for your life. Embrace the depth of my love, and you will find that no trial or tribulation can extinguish the light within you. Your challenges may seem insurmountable, but I assure you, I will meet your needs with blessings beyond your wildest dreams. Believe, labor, pray without ceasing, and persevere. For the day of your breakthrough is fast approaching. Pause for a moment and feel the tenderness of my words, the love and strength that flow from my heart to yours. I am here to comfort you, to heal your wounds, and to strengthen your resolve. Let my words echo in your heart each morning as you rise, reminding you that I am with you, guiding you, and loving you every step of the way. As you face the trials and tribulations of life, remember that my strength is made perfect in your weakness. After the storms have passed, peace will descend upon you like a gentle rain, renewing your spirit and restoring your joy. Trust in my unfailing love, for it grows stronger with each passing day, and soon you will witness the fulfillment of your deepest desires beyond your wildest imagination, my dear child. Imagine you're walking through a dense fog where your vision is limited, and every step is an act of trust. This is much like our walk with God, a journey through the unknown, relying solely on His guidance and not our limited perception. Today, I will share with you profound insights into walking by faith and not by sight or emotions. I am also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus, so watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. My friends in this world, we are often tempted to rely on what we can see and feel. Yet, let us embrace the wisdom of Hebrews 11 verse 1, which declares, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. This profound truth anchors us in the midst of life's ever-changing tides. It calls us to place our trust in God's plan, even when it stretches beyond our understanding or visible horizon. Let us walk in faith, irrespective of the shifting sands of our circumstances and feelings. 
As we journey together, we will explore seven key insights that will help us navigate this path of faith. These insights will deepen our trust in the Lord and guide us in aligning our steps with His divine will. Number one, walking by faith, not your emotions. Life often presents us with a roller coaster of emotions, and you know what? But our emotions can be misleading, taking us on a path that deviates from God's plan. The story of Elijah in 1 Kings 19 offers a powerful lesson on this. After a significant victory at Mount Carmel, Elijah plunged into despair and fear due to Jezebel's threats. Despite having just witnessed God's mighty power, his emotions in that moment overshadowed his faith. This reminds us that even the strongest among us can falter if we lean too heavily on our emotional responses. My friends, in moments of emotional turmoil, let us hold on to the truth found in Psalm 56 verse 3, which says, Whenever I'm afraid, I will trust in you. This scripture not only addresses our fears, but also our broader emotional responses. It teaches us that our faith should not be swayed by the ever-changing tides of our emotions. Instead, we are called to place our trust and decisions in the steadfast love of God, not in the temporary whispers of our feelings. Walking by faith and not by emotions requires us to cultivate a deep sense of discernment and reliance on the Holy Spirit. It means that in moments of fear, anxiety, or even overwhelming joy, we pause and align these feelings with God's Word. It's about understanding that emotions are part of our human experience, but they should not be the compass that guides our decisions or our belief in God's promises. Therefore, as we navigate the challenges of life, let us seek wisdom and guidance from the Holy Spirit. Let us train ourselves to recognize when our emotions are leading us astray and stand in faith. Listen to the leading of the Holy Spirit and turn to prayer and scripture for truth in moments when our emotions threaten to overwhelm our faith. Let us remember Elijah and learn to rise above our immediate feelings, trusting in God's eternal plan and unfailing love. My friends, let us strive to walk by faith grounded in the truth of God's word, rather than being swayed by the fleeting and often deceptive nature of our emotions. In doing so, we find stability and clarity anchored in the love and wisdom of our Heavenly Father. Number two, trusting in God's timing over our own. The concept of time often perplexes us. We live in a world that revolves around schedules, deadlines, and immediate gratification. This fast-paced life can sometimes make the virtue of patience seem like a forgotten relic. Yet, in the realm of faith, time takes on a different dimension. As we ponder on the story of Noah, we see a man who operated not on conventional time, but on God's time. Building an ark with no cloud in the sky, Noah's faith was not rooted in what he could see or understand. It was anchored in the promises of God. In this context, Isaiah 55 verse 8 echoes profoundly, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. This verse isn't just about God's higher thinking, but also about His perfect timing. Noah's steadfast obedience to a task that appeared illogical on the surface teaches us an invaluable lesson about the true nature of unwavering faith. Our journey is often marred by our impatience and our lack of trust in God's timing. We want things to happen now, forgetting that God's timeline is always perfect, even when it seems delayed by our standards. Trusting in God's timing means embracing a season of waiting. It involves understanding that our immediate desires may not align with God's ultimate plan for us. This waiting is not passive, it's an active, faithful anticipation. It's about preparing our hearts, nurturing our faith, and staying committed to God's course even when the horizon seems distant. Noah's faithfulness during his season of waiting, building an ark amidst doubt and ridicule, is a testament to the strength that comes from trusting in God's timing. Therefore, as we navigate through our lives, let us seek to embody Noah's unwavering faith. When faced with decisions, big or small, let us pause and consider God's timing. This perspective shift is not about inaction, it's about aligning our actions with God's divine schedule. In moments of impatience and uncertainty, let us recall Noah's Ark, a symbol of trust and obedience in God's perfect timing. God guiding us to a deeper understanding of faith. Number three, 
surrendering personal ambitions to divine will. At times, our personal ambitions and dreams seem to chart our course. Yet, God's plan calls us to a different path. The story of Jonah vividly illustrates this struggle. Jonah was called to go to Nineveh, a task he initially ran from because it conflicted with his personal desires and prejudices. His journey, including the extraordinary experience inside the belly of a great fish, symbolizes the internal conflict we face when our plans clash with God's. As we reflect on Jonah's story, we are reminded of Proverbs 19 verse 21. There are many plans in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the Lord's counsel that will stand. This verse teaches us about the supremacy of God's will over our own ambitions. Jonah's eventual decision to obey God despite his initial reluctance demonstrates the importance of surrendering our plans to God, trusting that his plans are not only different but better. Surrendering to God's will often mean stepping outside our comfort zones and confronting our deepest fears and prejudices. For Jonah, going to Nineveh was not just about a physical journey, but also a spiritual transformation. This act of surrender is not a sign of weakness, but of profound strength and faith, acknowledging that our personal ambitions must align with God's higher purpose. Therefore, in our lives, when we find our ambitions clashing with God's calm, let us remember Jonah's journey. It's a call to introspection and realignment, a reminder that our ultimate purpose is found not in the pursuit of our ambitions, but in aligning them with God's divine plan. Surrendering doesn't mean giving up on our dreams. It means reshaping them to fit into the grand narrative God has written for us. Number four, overcoming doubts with God's assurance. Doubts are a natural part of our faith journey. They challenge our beliefs and can lead to spiritual growth if navigated wisely. The story of Thomas, often labeled as Doubting Thomas, offers a unique perspective on this. After the resurrection of Jesus, Thomas struggled with doubt, unable to believe without seeing Jesus with his own eyes. His story is a reflection of our own moments of doubt, where we see tangible proof of God's presence and plan. In these moments, Jesus' words to Thomas resonate deeply, as recorded in John 20 verse 29, where he said, Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. This verse is not just a rebuke of doubt, but an invitation to a deeper faith, a faith that believes in God's plan even when it's not visibly evident. Thomas's eventual declaration of faith upon seeing Jesus reminds us that our doubts, when surrendered to God, can lead to a stronger conviction in his plan for us. Overcoming doubt requires an intentional cultivation of faith and trust in God. It involves seeking him through his word, prayer, and the fellowship of believers. Thomas's story teaches us that it's okay to have questions or uncertainties, but we should not let them distance us from God. Instead, we should bring them to him, allowing his truth to guide and reassure us. As we face our doubts, let's be encouraged by Thomas's journey from skepticism to faith. Let us embrace our doubts not as hindrances, but as stepping stones to a deeper understanding and trust in God's plan. In our quest for answers, let us remain open to the ways God reveals His will and purpose for our lives. Number 5. Embracing Transformation Through God's Guidance Personal transformation is often a key aspect of aligning with God's plan. The transformation of Saul to Paul is one of the most striking examples of this. Saul, initially a persecutor of Christians, experienced a radical transformation on the road to Damascus. This was not just a change of heart, but a complete redirection of his life's purpose. Guided by God's hand, Paul's transformation, as he later became known, was marked by a total surrender to God's will. As he states in Galatians 2 verse 20, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. This profound declaration highlights the essence of embracing God's plan. It's about letting go of our old selves and allowing God to reshape our identity and purpose according to His divine will. Embracing transformation through God's guidance requires humility and a willingness to let go of our former ways. For Paul, this meant abandoning his previous beliefs and practices to fully embrace the teachings of Christ. This kind of transformation can be challenging as it often requires us to step into unfamiliar territory and adopt new ways of thinking and living. 
Therefore, as we seek to align with God's plan, let us be open to the transformative work He wants to do in us. Like Paul, let us be willing to undergo the changes that come with following Christ. This transformation is not a loss of self, but a discovery of our true identity and purpose in God. It's a journey from who we are to who God intends us to be. Number six, persevering in faith despite challenges. The journey of faith is often marked by challenges and trials. These moments test our perseverance and commitment to God's plan. The story of the prophet Hosea is a profound example of unwavering faith amidst adversity. Hosea was called to marry an unfaithful woman, Gomer, as a symbol of God's love for an unfaithful Israel. This difficult path was not a reflection of personal failure, but a profound illustration of God's unwavering commitment and love. Hosea's life reminds us of James 1 verse 12, which says, Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life which the Lord has promised to those who love him. This verse highlights the virtue of perseverance. Enduring challenges in our faith journey is not about silently bearing pain, but also about remaining steadfast in our trust in God's plan. Even when it leads us through difficult and incomprehensible paths, persevering in faith requires us to look beyond our current struggles and focus on the greater purpose that God has for us. Hosea's unwavering commitment to God, despite the pain and humiliation he endured, serves as a powerful testament to the strength that comes from divine assurance. It's about understanding that our trials are not just obstacles, but opportunities for growth and deeper reliance on God. As we face our own challenges, let us draw inspiration from Hosea's perseverance. Let us remember that our trials are temporary, but the lessons and strength we gain from them have eternal significance. In times of hardship, let us cling to the promise of the crown of life, persevering in faith and trusting in the unfailing love and plan of God. Number seven, walking in faith, not by sight. The essence of walking by faith is beautifully captured in the life of Abraham. Called to leave his homeland and go to an unknown land, Abraham's journey was marked by faith in God's promises, even when they seemed distant and unattainable. He believed in God's promise of a son despite his and Sarah's old age and was willing to sacrifice his promised son, Isaac, trusting in God's plan above his understanding. Abraham's life resonates with 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7, For we walk by faith, not by sight. This principle defines our Christian walk, a journey based not on visible evidence but on the assurance of God's promises. Abraham's willingness to step into the unknown Trusting in God's word sets a powerful example for us. Walking by faith, not by sight, means trusting in God's promises even when they defy our logic or timelines. It involves letting go of our need for visible proof and relying on the certainty of God's word. Abraham's journey, filled with ups and downs, was a testament to the fact that faith is not a straight path, but a series of steps taken in trust and obedience. Therefore, as we walk our own journey of faith, let us be inspired by Abraham's example. Let us embrace the uncertainties and challenges with faith, knowing that our sight is limited but God's vision is infinite. In every step, in every decision, let us walk by faith, holding on to the promises of God, assured that His plan for us is perfect and His timing is impeccable. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, you are mighty and majestic. Your glory fills the heavens and the earth. You are the rock of ages, the great I am, the one who is, who is, and who is to come. Your wisdom is unsearchable, and your power is like no other. In your presence, every knee shall bow, and every tongue confess that you are Lord. I lift your name on high, for you are worthy of all glory, honor, and praise. I thank you, Father, for your manifold blessings in my life and in the lives of my loved ones. Thank you for your unfailing love, your boundless grace, and your merciful kindness that greets me each morning. Your faithfulness is my shield and buckler. Thank you for being my guide, my comforter, and my steadfast hope in times of uncertainty. 
Forgive me, Lord, for the times I have leaned on my understanding, for moments when my faith faltered and I walked by sight. I ask for your forgiveness, cleanse my heart from all unrighteousness. I also forgive those who have wronged me, releasing all resentment and hurt. For in forgiveness, there is freedom and peace. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that I am walking by faith and not by sight. I rebuke every spirit of doubt, fear, and confusion. I bind any influence that contradicts your will for my life, and I ask for wisdom, clarity, and discernment. Lord, I trust in your unfailing provision. You are my provider, and I hold on to your promise to supply all my needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Give me this day my daily bread and my daily benefits. Heavenly Father, I pray that your hand of healing reaches out to touch me and my loved ones, bringing restoration and wholeness in every area where we need your divine healing. I pray against every attack of the enemy, be it on our health, our minds, or our spirits. Protect us, Lord, from all harm and keep us under the shadow of your wings. Deliver us from all evil and lead us away from temptation. Lord, I pray for your blessings upon my life and the lives of my loved ones. As I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We stand in agreement, united in our desire to follow your plan and purpose for our lives. Guide us, Lord, as we navigate through life's challenges and decisions. Help us to embrace your will, overcome our doubts, and find joy and fulfillment in your divine plan. Lord, pour out your Spirit upon us. Fill us with the courage and strength to face whatever lies ahead. May we, like Abraham, trust in your promises, even when they seem distant. Help us to persevere through trials, knowing that you are refining us for a greater purpose. May our lives be a testament to your faithfulness and love. In the name of Jesus, we declare that we walk by faith, not by sight or our emotions. We declare that everything is working for us and not against us. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Let your will be done in our lives as it is in heaven. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forevermore. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen. Have you ever felt the tranquility of early morning when the world is hushed and the day brims with potential? This moment, so serene and pregnant with promise, resembles commencing our day with prayer. Just as the dawn's light begins to blanket the sky, dispelling darkness, initiating our day with God illuminates our path, guiding us through whatever lies ahead. Prioritizing prayer as the first action of our day isn't just about the words we utter. It's about forging a connection with our Creator. It's about offering our time, thoughts, and hearts to Him before anything else. Today, we delve into the significance of making prayer the inaugural act of our day, exploring how this simple yet profound practice can influence the course of our day, impact our mood, and shape our interactions with others. When we start our day with prayer, we declare to God, you are the most important part of my day. This act of prioritizing God sets the tone for everything that follows, affirming our faith and trust in Him. It's a practice that not only strengthens our faith, but also enriches our daily lives, infusing them with peace, joy, and purpose. Commencing each morning with conversation with God is more than just a ritual. It's a lifeline, anchoring our souls in the certainty of His love and promises. It establishes a precedent for the rest of the day, offering a perspective aligned with God's will and brimming with hope. Morning prayer isn't merely a routine. It's an act of faith, believing that God hears us, cares for us, and is actively involved in our lives. It's an expression of our dependence on Him, acknowledging that we need His wisdom and strength to navigate the day. Moreover, starting our day with God empowers us to embody the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These qualities become more evident in our lives when we spend time with God each morning, enriching our relationships and allowing us to become vessels of His love. Morning prayer equips us with wisdom for the day's decisions, guiding us in both major choices and everyday matters. It sets a rhythm of communion with God that can continue throughout the day, transforming ordinary moments into opportunities to experience His presence and work in our lives. 
The practice of starting our day with God through prayer is a journey of faith, trust, and surrender. It promises not just a good day, but a God-centered life, rich in peace, purpose, and joy. Let's commit to making prayer the first action of our day, inviting God's presence into every moment and allowing His will to shape our lives. Morning prayer reminds us that true peace is found in the presence of God. Let us, therefore, cherish these early moments with God, allowing His peace to fill us and flow through us. May it be a guiding light throughout our day, a reminder of God's constant presence and unwavering love. In doing so, we not only enrich our own lives, but also extend this peace to those around us, creating ripples of God's love in a world in desperate need of His peace. Embarking on each new day with morning prayer not only immerses us in peace, but also fortifies us with a strength that is not our own. This strength, bestowed upon us by the Almighty, is a testament to the power that lies in beginning our day rooted in divine communion. It is a strength that surpasses physical capabilities, nurturing our inner resilience and empowering us to face life's challenges with courage and determination. This divine strength is a promise from God to those who seek Him, as vividly captured in Isaiah 40 verse 31. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Morning prayer is our act of waiting on the Lord, of dedicating the first fruits of our day to Him, and in return, He renews our strength, equipping us to soar above the trials and tribulations of life. The strength we gain from starting our day in God's presence goes beyond mere endurance. It transforms our perspective on adversity. Challenges become opportunities to witness God's power at work in our lives, trials become platforms for His grace to be displayed, and weaknesses become conduits for His strength to be perfected. This strength enables us to persevere with joy, knowing that our victory is secured in Christ. Furthermore, the strength derived from morning prayer infuses our faith with vitality. It anchors us in the truth of God's word and promises, fortifying our trust in Him. In moments of doubt or fear, the remembrance of our morning encounters with God serves as a beacon of hope, reminding us of His faithfulness and the unshakable foundation upon which our lives are built. Also, the strength we receive from morning prayer prepares us for spiritual warfare. Armed with the full armor of God, we can stand against the schemes of the enemy, secure in the knowledge that the battle belongs to the Lord. Our morning prayers act as a declaration of our dependence on God, activating His power and protection over our lives. In essence, the strength gained from our daily communion with God is multifaceted, touching every area of our lives. It is a strength that does not boast in its own might, but in the power of the one who promises to be our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. As we continue to prioritize morning prayer, let us do so with the expectation of being filled anew with God's indomitable strength, ready to face whatever the day may hold with confidence and grace. In the scriptures, we find compelling stories of individuals whose lives were profoundly shaped by their commitment to putting prayer first. These biblical characters offer us timeless examples of how starting the day with God can lead to divine guidance, protection, and empowerment in fulfilling God's purposes. Their stories encourage us to make prayer the first action of our day, trusting that like them, we will experience God's guidance, protection, and empowerment to fulfill our divine calling. As we follow in their footsteps, let us remember that our prayers, whether in times of joy, uncertainty, or distress, are always heard by a God who is intimately involved in the details of our lives. Let us first seek God in prayer, laying the foundation of our journey in His presence. This divine attentiveness assures us of His unwavering support and guidance. It beckons us to approach Him with confidence, knowing that each prayer plants the seeds for miracles yet unseen. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, I come before you in awe of your majesty and grace. You are the creator of the heavens and the earth, the King of kings and Lord of lords. Your power is infinite, your wisdom beyond understanding, and your love for us everlasting. You are worthy of all honor, all glory, and all praise. I thank you, Lord, for the gift of life and for your mercies that are new every morning. We are thankful for this new day, a fresh opportunity to experience your love, to walk in your ways, and to reflect your light to those around us. 
Thank you for your faithfulness and for your unfailing love that surrounds me and my loved ones. Lord, I am grateful for your daily provisions and blessings. In your presence, there is fullness of joy, and at your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Merciful Father, I acknowledge my sins before you and ask for your forgiveness. I also choose to forgive those who have trespassed against me, releasing any bitterness or resentment, for you have called us to live in freedom and peace. Lord, I come to you seeking to start each day in your presence, to lay the foundation of my day upon your word and prayer. Help me to seek you first, trusting that all I need will be added unto me, as you have promised. I ask that you would guide my steps, direct my paths, and fill me with your wisdom. In the name of Jesus, I declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I rebuke and bind every plan of the enemy to disrupt my peace, steal my joy, or derail my purpose. In the name of Jesus, I bind every spirit of confusion, fear, worry, anxiety, and discouragement. Father, I ask for your protection over me and my loved ones. Shield us from the attacks of the enemy and surround us with your angels. I ask for your healing hand upon us, believing for restoration and strength in our bodies. Lord, bless us in our coming and going, and let your blessings and favor rest upon us as we walk through this day. Let us be vessels of your love and grace to others. As I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We come in agreement as we pray for each other, asking for your Holy Spirit to fill us afresh, to empower us to live lives that glorify you. Guide us, Lord, in your wisdom. Protect us in your strength. Heal us in your mercy and bless us with your abundance. We claim victory over every challenge, declare healing over every illness, and give thanks for your provision and protection. Let your kingdom come and let your will be done on earth and in our lives as it is in heaven. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forevermore. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Now, for those who are listening and you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I urge you to receive God's grace with an open and repentant heart. Start where you are. Your past doesn't matter. Jesus came to seek and to save those who are lost. God loves you. It is not God's will that anyone should perish, but for all to come to repentance. Say this simple salvation prayer for yourself. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner, and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, hear my prayer. I pray. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Amen. Now that you have prayed this prayer, you can ask a pastor to baptize you at a local church and make that decision public. Baptism is a symbol of that decision to follow Jesus. Then, I encourage you to have fellowship with other believers, to learn more about your new life, and to get to know more about God. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comment section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory. Also, we invite other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world to join us and start praying for you right now. And we want you to know that even if you don't see a reply to your prayer request, it doesn't mean that you were not prayed for. Rest assured that we are actively lifting up each request to God that is in accordance with His will. We believe in the power of prayer to bring comfort, healing, and guidance in accordance with God's perfect plan. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.